everyone uh, today what I'm going to introduce to you are all the Nico products uh, I would say it's the main ones and this one is called a Nico Euro this one's called a Nico Esati and this one's called a Nico MK1 or Nico Mark 1 some people call it that yeah so for these boxes you have normally two set of remotes you have one which is a grey color and one which is a black color you would see some of your boxes might have a black color from before some of you might have a grey color from before so basically they are not the same remote. The black ones are, uh, we call it a fixed code remote, which is, uh, in other words, version one. And this one is a rolling code remote. So if you have a black one, when you buy the remotes, you need to get the black one itself. If you have a gray ones, you need to get the gray one itself. Now, what I'm going to show you is how, when you get a new remote, how are you going to pair them with these boxes, yeah? So what I'll do, I'll start with the, with the Euro box. So uh, Eurobox normally what you do is you set four screws in here. You just need to take them off. Okay, plug them in and you will see there's two lights on. As I said, if the remotes are of gray color, what you need to do, you need to program the gray remotes on there and the black one won't work. Yeah. So normally what you need to do is you need to press the programming button in here for one to two seconds. And then you just need to press the up key on the remote and you would see it just picks it up can you hear the click sound okay so that's for the euro one for the isati it's a similar sort of way to do the remote programming and but the programming button is found in here if you would see there's a small black button in here i'm going to use the same remote and program it to this box so what i'll do i'm going to press that for one to two seconds press the up button on there and if you would see click on it it goes on and it's programmed okay now lastly what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to program them to the mark one normally you should wire your free uh your free core wire in here but i've got one already pre-wired just going to take them off use this one and you would see this is the half this is the neutral and this is the uh, live wire put them in Okay, I'm just going to power them on. Okay, and again, just going to use this remote, press the programming button. Okay, and press the up button on there. And you would see now, this is it. So now, if you would see as well, I program these remotes with all the three boxes. So as soon as you program them in that box, it keeps a memory on. So you can reuse the same remote on all the different boxes if you wish to. But mind you, it doesn't mean that uh, uh, all of them will work uh, uh, exactly as needs to be on your shutters, because uh, there are limits on your shutters which will prevent your, your door to open and close whether it has to. Now, one last thing I just wanted to advise you, as I said, is you've got two set of remotes for Nico, but lately, a Nico has released a new version of a remote, which is called the Nico Eco Remote. It looks similar to the Nico V or version one or Nico fixed code, but this one doesn't have a Nico logo on the front. So these remotes cannot be used to these boxes. Okay. So for this one, they use the Nico Eco box. And if you see this one, they've got the number at the back with a blue label at the top. So you won't be able to use that one. Thank you very much.